Hello everybody and welcome back to Good Sauce Tech, my name is Vlad and today we are back with part 2 of our C++ tutorial. Today we're covering if statements, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So, last time we covered uh, the very basics, the very boring stuff, like uh, variables, data types, input, output, the very basic things that you need to know. This time we're looking at if statements. Now, if statements are a way to make decisions in your code. So you can say, if this thing is true, then we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll do something else. Now, there are some prerequisites that we are going to use, but that don't warrant an explanation because they are very simple. So these are some comparison operators. So you can say greater than, less than, greater or equal, less or equal. This is to test if two things are the same. And this is to test if some things, if two things are different. But now let's get straight into the meat of things with the basic structure of the if statement. So you'll notice you have this if and then between parentheses you have a condition. If that condition is true, then the computer will execute the lines of code. Otherwise, it will skip the whole block and continue after this closing accolade. Right, so now let's check it out. Let's say you wanna, you're programming something that is like a digital um, like digital bouncer for a bar or something, right? So it will ask you right when you come into the door, it will ask you how old you are, right? So you'll want to ask, how old are you, right? And then probably put a new line, right? And then you want to declare a variable, right? And we'll say the integer that is age, Right? And then we'll read the age. Pardon me. We will read the age like this. So we'll say cn for console in, and then we'll read the age. Now that we have the user's age, oh, we forgot to include, uh, to, how about, use namespace standard. All right? All right, now those aren't erroring anymore. Um,. So now that we have the user's age, we can say this, we can say if age is greater or equal to 18, we will say, please come in. And then we'll add a new line. And then that's that. And otherwise we will just exit the program, right? So that's pretty simple. It will go in here and we'll say, all right, is the age that we just read greater than 18? If so, it will execute the code between these curly brackets and it will say, please come in. Otherwise, it will say, all right, exiting. Well, it will say exiting either way, right? It will keep going. Um, so now let's run the debugger and let's see what happens. Okay. So now it will ask us how old we are. Let's say we are 20, right? Hit enter, please come in, and then it's exiting, right? However, if we give it an age that is less than 18, so say we're 16, it will just exit. It won't invite us to come in, right? So this is one way to do it, but this like exiting thing is kind of clunky and doesn't really, really make sense. Uh, so we can do this another way. We will comment this out for now. And then we will move on to else statements. Now, an else statement is an extension to the if statement. It will go if the condition is met, then it will execute this thing. Otherwise, it will execute this thing. All right? So, fairly simple. We will copy what we had up here. So, this is the same. But then we can say else. So, if that if that thing over here isn't true, we can say see out you are not old enough. Add a new line. And there you go. So now this will make a bit more sense because it will ask how old we are and we'll say 16 or 9, well, 16. And then it will say you are not old enough, right? But then if we are old enough and we say we're 20 again, it will say, please come in, but it won't say some additional text at the end otherwise, right? Which makes a lot of sense. 
Okay, but there's more we can do. Let's say we, for some reason, want people to be older than 18, but younger than 30, for some reason. Okay, so we will comment this out so it doesn't bug us. And we will copy this bit. And we will use an else if statement. So, else if, again, is an extension of the else and the if, right? So you can say if a condition, then it executes this. You can say else if another condition, then it will do this. And then you can add as many else ifs as you want, right? You can have one, you can have 50. It's completely fine. And then at the end, you can, but you don't have to add an else, which will execute if all other things don't, right? So you can say, uh, we'll use this again, please come in. Um, but not quite. Okay, let's do it differently. So, we will say, if the age is less than 18, right? We'll say, you are not old enough. And that's that. We'll say, else, if the age is greater than 30. We will say you are not young enough. Again, everyone who's over 30, my apologies, this does not actually mean anything. Um, and then we can say, well, if they're not younger than 18 and they're not older than 30, then they are between those two numbers, right? So then they're good. They're good to come in. In which case we'll say, okay, else, so if none of those are true, we'll say, we'll say, uh, please come in. Commission works over, consistent, and there you go. So now, remember this thing up here is still asking us for our age, right? That's why it's still doing that. So, it will go something like this. It will ask us how old we are, and we can say, well, we're 16, say you're not old enough. And then we can run it again and it say we're 31 <laughs> we're not young enough right but we can say we are 25 or something and it says please come in and the way it goes is you have to uh, to be careful for the order right because you can say all right this has these two have to be first and this has to be the else right because if you put them in a different order maybe they'll mess with each other so if we were to say if age greater than 18 here then if you would be like 34, it would still go in here, right? If we were to do this. Okay, and we would say like, please come in over here, right? Then you haven't yet checked if they're younger than 30, right? So you have to be careful about the order of your conditions so that you have the desired result in your logic at the end. Okay, so... Um, the last thing that we have to cover, because if statements are pretty simple, is how you can compact them down a bit. Because you can see we've got a lot of dead space, right? We got this and like this, there's like, there's nine lines here and three of them are just like empty curly brackets. Um, so the thing is, if you have more than one statement in an if, so if within, like between these two brackets, if you have more than one statement, then you have to have the brackets, right? Uh, if we if we want to say goodbye, right? Then we absolutely need the curly brackets. But if you have just one, like we do here and here, then you can actually cut out the brackets. So what you can do, a way we could compact this is, I'll copy that out, right? And we will comment that so it doesn't bug us. Okay, delete that. Okay. And now we will copy it over, and you can actually just add them all on one line. So you can have this, have it go away, have this go away, and then it's just one line. And then you can delete that and have this come over. Just make sure you don't have any curly brackets left over. Delete this as well, and this as well, and have this come over up on the next line. And there we go, that has the exact same function. Now, is this easier to read? That's up to you. You can also do it um, something like this. This is a bit more readable. 
this all depends on you and if you have a set programming style it's good to be consistent if you're gonna do all one-liners like this do them all like this consistency is important but that is about it for if, if statements so if you have any other questions uh let me know down in the comments or join the discord um we'll be making a programming channel on the discord in case you have any questions over there Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, you can click on the right to watch my latest video, or on the left to watch a random video, or just click the round channel icon in the middle to subscribe. And as always, this has been Vlad from Good Sauce Tech, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.